a very warm welcome to WS Cube Tech. So, guys, in our previous session, we have covered bar plots, and in our today's session, we will be starting with a histogram plot. So, guys, histogram plots, we have created the histogram plots before as well in our matplotlib. How they are different in Seaborn is that it is so easy in Seaborn to create a histogram plot. Let's have a look on how they look like in our Seaborn. So, in Seaborn, the histogram plot looks like this. In our first plot, we only have the bars. In our in our second plot, we have the kernel density estimation as well. So, we will be looking at both of them. One by one. So we also have a separate session of kernel density estimation, but here also we will be looking at that along with the histogram. So let's have a look on how histogram plots are created. To create a histogram plot, first of all, I will be importing all the libraries. So I'll be writing import Seaborn as SNS. After that, let's import the matplotlib as well. So import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt, and let's import pandas as well. NumPy if required then we will uh, definitely import the NumPy as well as of now I am just leaving it to so import pandas as pd. Okay, after this we need a data set over here for data set we will be writing let's say df is equals to sns.load underscore data set and here I will be passing some data so for the data set you can check over here we have multiple data over here and let's go with the tips so yeah I will be writing tips over here. Once we have written tips, we will be writing df dot head to obtain the first five data which is there inside our data set. So we will be getting the data in this way. After this, we need to create a histogram plot. To create a histogram plot, we have a very simple method over here. We need to write sns dot hist plot. We will be writing hist plot for histogram plot. In the parentheses, you do not need to pass the x and y, both x's. We can only pass the x axis over here and y will give us the count over there. Okay. So x is equals to let's say if I take uh, day or we can take total bill as well. So x is equals to total bill and uh, we can give the data that data is from the data frame. Let's run and see how the output looks like. So this is how the output looks like. This is our data over here. This is histogram plot has been created and I'll be writing plt dot show. So here on the x axis we have the total bill and here on the y axis we have the count of it. So this is how a histogram plot has been created. If you want to give a gaps in between for that what you can do is very simple. I'll be just pasting this data over here and we can pass a variable called as discrete. And discrete is equals to if I'll write false, let's have a look on how we will obtain it. Discrete is equals to false will give us a data that means it will give us spaces in between and we will act, we, will, we can actually get a accurate data over here. So wherever data is not available, so here in this case what is happening that wherever the data is even not available there also it is showing us a line that means all the bars are attached together. But here we are getting an accurate data so this can be done by getting discrete is equals to false. Talking about the hue over here if I paste the same data and pass hue that hue is equals to so hue let's say hue is based on our gender so for that I'll be writing sex. And if I run it, this is how we will obtain the hues. You can see the data is overlapping on each other. This is happening because wherever the data is overlapping, you can see a gray color data is there. So that means the data is overlapping on each other. Similarly, you can provide the color as well. For that, we can provide with the palette. So we can write palette is equals to in the palette you can pass any color so i'll be passing spring and as soon as i run it i'll get the data in this method that we in the uh, the male is in pink color and the female is in peachish color and the mixed data that means overlapping data over here is in somewhere dark pink color okay Similarly, if you remember that when I showed you the two types of images in the starting of the session, we had one graph in which there was a kernel density estimation. That means there was a curve line over there. To obtain that curve line, we have a very simple method. Let's apply this in the first one only. So I'll be putting KDE is equals to true. So this, uh, this should be a Boolean value. That's why I'll be writing capital D true over here. So KDE is kernel density estimation. If I run it, I'll be getting the data in this way. There is a wave which is forming over here, which is giving us the density estimation over here. Similarly, you can provide with different things. For example, if you want to provide with the edge color, so you can give a edge color as well. So I'll be writing EDGE color. That means edge color is equals to, let's say I want an edge color of red color. And if I run it, this is how the output looks like. And similarly, if you want the line style, so over here right now, we can see we have a solid line. So if we want a dashed or dotted lines in that case, what we will be doing, we will be writing line style is equals to and in the double quotations, I'll be passing two dashes, two hyphens. So it would give me a dashed line over here. Similarly, you can provide with different things as well. Suppose if you want to give a same color over here for color, you can give any color. Let's say I'll be giving hot pink and I'll be writing 
hot pink over here as soon as i run it i'll be getting the hot pink color over here similarly if you want to provide with any color you can just write a color name or if you want to provide with a different colors you can inside the palette you can provide with a different colors here so i hope guys over here histogram plot is clear to you that how we have created it and and how we can add kde to it how we can make it discrete and non discrete so if you if you don't want it to be discrete then you can just leave it default or you can write uh, discrete is equals to true over here as well similarly we have hue and palette which we have studied before as well and edge color and line styles so if you want to add styles to your graph so i hope guys here histogram plot is clear to you and you have no doubts in the questions in our next session we will be talking about scatter plot so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you